I just would like to highlight uh, verse 33, no? Because this has something to do with the Holy Spirit. Did any people ever hear the voice of God speaking out of the midst of the fire? To, no? Have you ever heard the voice of God? No? Except uh, during the time of uh, Moses, uh, during the, the appearance of Moses uh, in uh, Mount Sinai, no? In the burning bush. But now, have you heard God speaking very loud? Especially katong, especially those uh, people that are making profits of the COVID-19 vaccine despite the sufferings of all people. No? Have you heard God intervening by raising His voice? Or yung siya nga, have you heard those people that have heard and still living now? Or has any God ever attempted to go and take a nation for Himself? from the midst of another nation by trial, by signs, by wonders, and by war, and by mighty hand, and outreach arm, and by great terrors, according to all the lords your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. No matter how cruel this world is, no matter how oppressive the leaders of the nation no? no matter how he did to the, like the Jews in the Holocaust, see Hitler, no matter how those uh, kananaang uh, African leaders, no? genocide, have you heard God intervene personally? When back all of us now, is uh, after almost two years of the pandemic, mag three years na, no? Mag three years na siguro ni, <laughs> but lang. Have you heard God talking to all of us what to do? Or even to telling to us that you have to obey your leaders in wearing masks and uh, kana, sana, uh, washing your hands. And then many of us are asking, where is God? Where is God? We have not heard God. No? But what, what, did, what did he say? No, therefore this day, and lay it, lay it to your heart that the Lord is God in heaven above and on earth. Beneath there is no other. Therefore you shall keep His statutes and His commandments which I commanded you this day. That it may go well with you and with your children after you. That you may prolong your days in the land which the Lord your God gives you forever. No? What does this mean? God will not intervene. God will not intervene per, ano, kananang, by His power directly to our situation, even to our life. Kung mag-intervene pa sa ang ginoo, uh, kanang, sa actual intervention yun, there are so many suicide uh, cases na ma-prevent sa gino. <laughs> no? He will intervene kagad. Gunitan niya ang uh, means to suicide, no? Like uh, ambag uh, mag mag sana magdunggab sarili. But God wanted to <laughs> to work in an ordinary in an ordinary, ordinary way, in the ordinariness of our life. He wanted to work with the priest, to work with the bishop, to work with your brothers and sisters, to work with the president, to work with the official, the government official, the barangay captain, to work with the teacher, to work with all of us as brothers and sisters. Just imagine in verse 39, it's better for you no? This day, and lay it to your heart that the Lord is God in heaven and above and on earth beneath. There is no other. Therefore, you shall keep the statute. You shall keep the commandments. No wonder, therefore, that in the gospel, yung pasimil, commissioning, 
No wonder he commissions us to evangelize. No wonder he commissioned us to reach out. No wonder he commissioned us to bring people to God, to be to to build communities for his people, to feed the hungry, to bring give food to the hungry, to share with one another, encourage one another, teach one another, admonish each other. No, what did he say? In the gospel, now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus has directed them. This is before the ascension, no? Before the ascension, Jesus directed them, and when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Na magiging magdoubt sa mga kanang eleven eleven apostles. And Jesus came and said to them, "All authority in heaven and on earth." Has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, to the close or to the end of these days. In verse nineteen, you see nga, and Jesus came. And said to them, by all authority. He is a man of authority. He is the Son. But kinsa ng authority? The authority of the Father, the Duhan ng Kabok, the Father and the Son. But the action, his action will not be an action by by itself, but through the Holy Spirit. Di ba? Trinitarian na. The Father, the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Sa iya pang pang commissioning daan, it is a the the Trinity is already involved. I'm not saying that the Trinity is only involved. The Holy Spirit is only involved here. Even before the creation of the world, the Holy Spirit is already there. No. When Adam and Eve was ko na na ang was created by God, God breathed. Adam, that is the Holy Spirit of life, no? Then evangelizing, this is the mission of Jesus. He has full authority in verse verse eighteen, no? He has full authority given by the Father through the Holy Spirit. In verse twenty, he's saying, teaching them, no? Teaching them in verse twenty, no? Asama teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Teaching them, them, no, in their homes, in their family, in the parish, in the church, and and observe my command, no. Alang alang magteaching ka sa mga magteaching. Tito ka gid magteaching sa community. Dito kayo ka mag-teaching sa balay. Dito kayo ka mag-teaching sa karanaang. Of course, may, may one-on-one teaching. But later on, that one-on-one teaching just an initial initial teaching. But later on, after the teaching, pila ka session sa inyong teaching, then he will be brought to the parish, to the community, to his family. Kung layaw mga ganit siya nga banad, wala na mong pauli sa iyang asawa, then magbalik siya sa iyahan ihang pamilya no kung bata magana siya drug addict and support and so on na preso magana siya then mabalik siya dito sa society dili siya dumtan sa society otherwise dumtan siya sa nakasalan niya may integrate siya balik sa society may integrate siya balik sa parokya no sa pares o sa iyang pamilya sa ihang bana or asawa no in pentico sunday With the gifts of the Holy Spirit, no? with your charisma, so kana na ah, uh, isang I am with you always. Iyang giapil siya, the Father, because he is obedient to the Father, obedient to the Father, with the Holy Spirit helping him here on earth. Kaya naman, 
the Holy Spirit is the witness now after Jesus ascended to heaven. After Jesus uh, seated at the right hand of the Father. Jesus, in a, after his mission here on earth, is strategically, strategically, na asya sa ilid sa amahan, while the Holy Spirit is working to continue his mission. No? Mona siya. And then look at the readings of uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 14 to 17. Ito second reading ba? No? Uh, in verse 15, yun siya nga, we or you did not receive the spirit of slavery, but spirit of sonship. We become sons and daughters of God, and we cry, Abba, Father. No? The commission that God gave us in, uh, in Matthew chapter 28, there's no worry because we become sons and daughters of God. Of course, if we become sons and daughters of God, heirs of the kingdom, then we have to strive our best to help our God, to help Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. No? And in, in verse 16, we are the Spirit Himself bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Meaning, ang Espiritu, sa ginoo, nakikusa sa ato para kita mahimong anak sa Diyos. Meaning, the same spirit that God have, that God gave us, is the spirit nga nakikuban, no? nag-join diha sa atong spirito because of that we become sons and daughters of God. So, muna yung bot pa sabot. And then, what Another good thing, no? Yung siya aside from the Spirit bearing witness, witness with our spirit to be sons and daughters of God, we are children, ears of God. Kung saan mo yung ears? Iridiro sa ginoo. Kung saan mo yung iridiro? Iridiro sa iyang gingharian. Ears of the kingdom of God. No? And then, is is with Christ. So, so many implication. What is the implication of ears? When you have uh, your your properties from your parents and so forth and so on. After your parents die, then you will become inheritors of the large property, money, and other properties. But here, inshallah, you will become ears. You will receive the ears. You will inherit the ears, the kingdom of God after we die. No? Human kita mamatay. Makalabang nini kinabuhi ah, o muwanto dito sa kinabuhi na Diyos no? sa ato ang ginoo. After we die, then we will be able to uh, receive the ears of the kingdom of God. No? Dili pariyato ito ang property sa ato ang mga ginikanan. Kung mamatay atong ginikanan, ayat na lahat ma makuha, no? So, muna siya ang yan, istorya, no? How are we going to inherit that, to attain that, to obtain that? We will be able to uh, obtain that if we also suffer in order that we may be glorified later on with Him. We have to suffer. Amen? Amen? Oh, thumbs up. Listen, you can imagine guys, no? We have to suffer, you reject ta, uh, humiliate ta, no? Ma-embarrass ta, it's difficult. Labi na mag-imbandilize ka with your close family, family na uh, one members, very difficult, no? But yun sila, we suffer, then we will be able to endure it. Because it is only through suffering that we know the Holy Trinity, amen? No? God the Father who owns this uh, mission, God the Son is obedient to the mission, and God the Holy Spirit, the witness with us in carrying that mission. In closing, we can see this in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Sometimes uh, we just take it for granted, no? Nga naamadini sa Catechism of the Catholic Church. Uh, 
uh, in 234. The mystery of the most holy trinity is the central mystery of Christian faith and life. It is the mystery of God in himself. It is therefore the source of all the other mysteries of faith, the light that enlightens them. Tanawa ang the first part. The mystery of the most holy trinity is the central mystery of Christian faith and life. Central mystery po no? Uh, can you name other mysteries sa Christian faith or Catholic Church or Catholic faith? Resurrection, Ascension, there are other mis mysteries. But according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the Trinity is the the, uh, the most trinity is the central mystery of Christian faith and our life. It is the mystery of God in Himself. It is therefore the source of all the other mysteries of faith, the light that enlightens them. But the most significant of this uh, Bible sharing and study that we have now is that we are reminded of our commission. We are commissioned to bring more and more people of God to the fold of our church, to the fold of God the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much for being with me for this morning. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Salamat kayo o mayong gabi sa tanan.